We've come here to worship God today. But what is worship? Worship is more than just singing songs. We sing songs for lots of reasons. Worship is more than just telling God he's good. We call lots of things good. Worship is more than praying or reading the Bible or trying to be nice. Worship happens when someone says, because you've given me everything, God, I'm giving all of me to you today. And then they do. Now let's tell God he's good. And let's sing some songs to him. And let's give him all of us as we worship him today. up the door.
How's your smoothie coming along, Harper? Once I get all these strawberries in, I'll be good to go. Well, I can already tell it's gonna be delicious. You're welcome to have some. Uh, maybe later. Last time I had a smoothie, I ended up dripping a lot of it on my clothes, and I have a video call in about 15 minutes, so I'd rather remain smoothie-free. Well, speaking of video, I had a great idea for that recycling project you asked me and Dot to think about. Okay, well, tell me about it. I'd love to hear your idea. Perfect. Let me just blend together this smoothie. <gasps> Don't forget the lid! Our Connect HQ. Every day we help the people of the world live God's way. We look for the links, make the connection, and you never know what might happen. My name is Dot, and this is how I learned that I'm well-known. Tony, what's going on? Well, there was a little bit of a blender mishap, um, but it turned into a good thing because Captain Ray and Harper got to change your uniforms. Huh, cool. I just need to talk to Captain Ray for a second. I had the best idea ever for a project she wanted me and Harper to work on. Okay, awesome. Well, she, go ahead, she's right there. Um, just uh, watch out for Wanda. What's a Wanda? Um, she's right there. Uh, she's the new Connect HQ uniform consultant. Um, she's... Well, you'll, you'll find out for yourself. <laughs> okay. Well, well. Who is this? Oh, this is Dot. She works here with us at Connect HQ. Is that a fact? Twirl for me, dear. What's that supposed to mean? She wants you to turn around. Let me get a good look at you. Well, your twirling skills need work. You do have some fashion potential. I could give you one of my famous makeovers. Your makeovers are famous? They will be, one day. Oh, uh, Dot, before I forget, Harper had an incredible idea for the recycling project. She did? Actually, I... Are you surprised? Look at Harper. She's a leader in the making. A person people want to look up to. In her new uniform, she commands attention. I wouldn't go that far. Harper's idea was perfect. I'll have her fill you in later today. Okay, Dot? Sure. Okay, I am done. That was, um, okay. Yeah, that's, that's about how I felt the first time I met Wanda. <laughs> I do not like twirling. No, that's not it. Oh. Oh, I know what it is. You do? Well, yeah. I mean, you're seeing all the attention that Captain Ray and Harper are getting because of their new uniforms, so it's only natural that you would want one yourself. Wait. You think that if I got a new uniform, that would help me get other people's attention? Well, that's not exactly what I was thinking. I was thinking Harper maybe... got a new uniform, and now everyone's listening to her. Maybe the same will work for me. Thanks, Tony. And that's not what I had in mind. Oh, no. A little to the left, dear. Here. A little more. A little to the top. Right there. Do not move. A muscle. Decent lighting is imperative. My Instagram followers expect perfection. Doesn't that get exhausting? Oh, it's not for the faint of heart, but it is the price one must pay for fame. And I won't give up until I have the recognition my hard work and talent deserve. A smile, dear. Very good. This will do nicely. Wanda, do you have a minute? Yes, of course, dear. Let's meet up at my studio. Since when do we have a studio? Follow me. Whoa. There sure are a lot of clothes in here. Like any artist, I must have my supplies. <laughs> now, tell me. 
How may I help you? I was hoping to take you up on your makeover offer. Oh, that's music to my ears. <laughs> but tell me, Dot, how much of a statement are you willing to make? I have never been afraid of making a statement. Oh, good. For years, I've been looking for someone bold enough to wear my most striking designs. Clothes that will make me, and whomever is wearing them, famous. Ray and Harper, as wonderful as they are, were not willing to take such a step. Are you? You're sure wearing these clothes will get others' attention? Dot. <laughs> you will capture the eye of every person you meet. Well, in that case, let's do it! Splendid! We will begin immediately. Okay, I think that's the very last bit of smoothie cleaned up. That was a lot of smoothie. It was like a strawberry threw up in here. Thanks again for your help. Oh, of course. Hey, Captain, can I, can I ask you a question? Sure. Well, see, I know someone that is feeling a little bit unseen and, like, people aren't listening to her. Do you have any advice for someone that may be feeling like that? Actually, I think I can do you one better. I know the perfect verse from the book of Jeremiah. I'll teach it to you. Perfect. Wonderful. <laughs> Say it with me. Jeremiah 1, 5. Jeremiah 1, 5. I knew you before I formed you in your mother's womb. I knew you before I formed you in your mother's womb. Before you were born, I set you apart. Before you were born, I set you apart. <laughs> See, it doesn't matter how unseen we feel. God is with us always. He created us, He knows us, and He's always available to listen to us. That is perfect. That is exactly what Dot needs to hear. Wait, Dot's the one who's feeling unseen? Yeah, she came in here earlier and, well, she was pretty down. Well, in that case, I'll go look for her. Maybe I can figure out what's going on. Oh, okay. Thanks, Captain. Oh, no. We forgot the ceiling. Oh, that's a lot of smoothie. I'm gonna have to get the ladder. <laughs> Do I have to try on all of these clothes? Of course. There's no one-size-fits-all perfect ensemble for everyone. In order to identify the best statement-making outfit for you, I must see you in as many outfits as possible. If you say so. Oh, I do. these outfits do I have to try on? Wanda? I've got it! An <sighs> end to this torture? The perfect outfit! Your perfect outfit! Oh, the outfit that will bring both of us all the attention and fame we've been looking for! Finally! <sighs> the next time your friends at Connect HQ see you, they're gonna be looking at a whole new dot. Harper, have you seen Dot? Not in a while, is everything okay? I hope it will be. What are you working on? I'm trying to find a certain video. Wanda works really hard, which is great of course, but a big reason she works so hard is to get the attention of other people. I wanna show her that being famous isn't the most important thing in life. Harper, I love that kind of initiative. Oh, here it is. You wanna watch it with me? Absolutely. This is the story. Do 
is alive. Jesus walked from town to town and across the countryside. Along the way, he asked men to join him and travel around, telling people about God and how to know him. These men were called disciples. One day, Jesus decided to go to a town called Galilee. When he got there, he ran into a guy named Philip. Jesus asked Philip to follow him. Philip was so excited. He ran to tell his friend Nathaniel about it. He found Nathaniel sitting under a fig tree all alone. Nathaniel, you won't believe this. You know that guy that Moses and all the prophets talked about? <laughs> we found him. Well, I, I, I mean, he found us. His name is Jesus, and he's from Nazareth. Now, Nathaniel was a very good man and a smart one, too. But he didn't always believe everything he heard. Nazareth? That old place? <laughs> you really think the man that Moses and the prophets spoke about could come from Nazareth? <laughs> Get out of here. Nathaniel, you got to meet this guy. You'll see what I mean. Come on, I'll introduce you. Besides, <laughs> it's not like you're doing anything better sitting under this fig tree. Aren't you bored? Hey, it's not so bad. I like the figs. Besides, what's it to you? What have you got to lose? Come on, see for yourself. <sighs> Whatever. I'll go with you this time. So, Philip and Nathaniel went to find Jesus. As they got close, Jesus called out. Ah. Here's a true man who always knows the right thing to do and does it. Are you talking about me? Yes, Nathaniel, you. Have I met you? Hey, wait a minute. I know I've never met you. How do you know about me? I saw you sitting under that fig tree before Philip found you. But, but I was alone. Wait, you knew me before you even saw me? Oh, the son of God. You believe that just because I knew you before I met you? Well, Nathaniel, get ready. That's nothing compared to the great things you're going to see. We're going to make history together. Follow me. Hey, guys, are you hungry? I got some figs in my pockets. Yeah, have one. When Nathaniel met Jesus for the first time, he wasn't sure he could believe Jesus was who everyone said he was. But once Jesus told him that he saw him under the fig tree before they even met, Nathaniel couldn't help but believe in him. Jesus knew him just like he knows each and every one of us. It doesn't matter who you are, what you look like, or even how talented you are. We never have to earn his attention. And his attention is the one that matters the most. That's exactly right. Great work, Harper. I'll speak with Wanda, and I think I may know someone else who needs to know how much they're known by God. There she is. Look at the wonderful new dot. Wanda and I, Wait. where is Wanda? I think we need to have a little chat. Perhaps I went too big. Perhaps there's a reason I've yet to become famous. Well, Tony and Harper and I had been talking and there's something that we wanted to say to both of you. Don't worry, I'm not going to keep the outfit. Oh, no, darling, you needed an update. But I won't subject anyone else here to my bold creations. It always takes the masses time to embrace new forms of artistic expression. Well, we had noticed how, for both of you, it's really important to be seen and heard and appreciated by others, which we completely understand everybody wants to be known. Okay. But no matter how appreciated or ignored you feel by others, it's important that you're always able to say, I'm well known because God knows me well. I'm well known because God knows me well? I'm well known because God knows me well. <laughs> what a statement! <laughs> that it is. Now, we can't always get the attention that we're looking for from others. Now, of course, Dot, if you feel like you're not being seen, you should let others know. And Wanda, it's always great to work for the respect of others. But... But... When you know that God cares about you, that He sees you, that He is there for you, and that He's always listening to you, it's easy to be confident in knowing that you're not just a nobody, you're a somebody that God loves very much. That's just what I needed to hear, Captain. What about you, Wanda? You've given me much to think about. Thank you, Ray. <laughs> 
Now, what should I do with this outfit? You should keep it. <laughs> you look great in it. What if we added a cowboy hat? Wanda? It's fine as it is. Agreed. Hi, Dot here from Connect HQ. I wanted to share this great verse with you. Say it with me like this. Jeremiah 1, 5. I knew you before I formed you in your mother's womb. Before you were born, I set you apart. Isn't that amazing? God has been with us since the very start of our lives. Before we even knew Him, He knew us. Nathaniel learned this lesson in the book of John. When he met Jesus for the first time, Jesus had already seen Him and knew who He was. Jesus knows us the same way. Sometimes we think life would be easier if others would pay more attention to us. But in the end, attention from other people won't make us happy. Only God's attention will make us happy. And we don't have to earn His attention. Because of the work Jesus did on the cross, we always have God's attention. He knows us, sees us, and listens to us. So the next time you're feeling unseen, like no one is noticing you, remember this point. I'm well known because God knows me well. And remember, Connect HQ is here to help you. Isn't my new uniform great? And not only that, but I set up a meeting with Captain Ray to discuss my idea about the recycling project. I'll let you know how it all works out. Today we talked about how we're all well known by God, but it's important for us to know God too. If you've never made the decision to follow His Son, Jesus, with your whole life, you can do that today. All you have to remember are the ABCs. A. Admit. Admit that you've done wrong and ask God to forgive you for disobeying Him. B. Believe. Believe God sent Jesus to take the punishment for your sin. Trust that you are forgiven because Jesus made you right with God. C. Choose. Choose to spend your whole life depending on God's power to help you say no to sin. As you live and love like Jesus, tell others God is your leader and number one friend. Did you make that decision? If so, be sure to talk about it with your parents or a leader you can trust.